The Australian sheep blowfly, also known as Lucilia caprina, has a beautiful name, and the adults are actually quite pretty themselves, but it's a horrible, horrible parasite. We have now defined the global molecular landscape of Lucilia caprina. We've identified all 14,544 genes that make up this blowfly. One thing that we're really looking for, having the genome sequence in hand, is the Achilles heel. We want to find a weakness in this organism that can be exploited, maybe with a vaccine that would give long-term protection against this pest and the damage that it does. The implications are broad. I mean, the, the, the work that's been done really provides the first global insight into the molecular biology of this parasite. And uh, the, the draft genome that we've now produced provides a massive resource to the scientific community, to many groups, many researchers around the world. Well, now that we know all of the genes that are found within the blowfly and those that are involved in insecticide resistance, as well as those that could potentially be involved in insecticide resistance, from an agricultural perspective, it's really exciting because it's a genomic guided approach. So it's not a needle in a haystack approach. We're actually able to pinpoint the genes that could evolve to be resistant to insecticides and kind of go around that. Knowledge of the genome of this particular fly really underpins not only discovery on the fly itself, but also has broader implications to other flies because we can now, people who are working on a whole range of other different insects can use this genome to underpin comparative genomic studies and also comparative studies uh, between model organisms and the fly in order to understand not only biology of the fly but also understand the mechanisms by which the fly is parasitic. We have this exciting new technology called CRISPR that allows us to reach in and knock out individual genes of choice. And by doing that, we may be able to find out whether those genes are the critical genes for, for parasitism.